for the winner by unanimous decision and still Makachev and Volkanovsky's first fight was an all-time classic but will we see a rematch from other possible fights to some harsh advice from Islam's mother this is the bizarre reason why Makachev versus Volkanovsky 2 might not happen Khabib Nurmagomedov is one of the greatest fighters in UFC history, but his career ended very early. Why? Well, it wasn't an injury, and it certainly wasn't because his performance got worse. It was because his family asked him to end it. And now it looks like another Dagestani mother has something to say. Islam's mother doesn't want him to fight anymore, but will he listen to his mother's advice? Well, sorry mom, but I hope not. Oftentimes, UFC fighters are overhyped. We think that just because two fighters have big names, they'll put on a legendary fight. And of course, that's not always the case, and fans are often disappointed. However, UFC 284 definitely lived up to its hype. Islam Makachev faced Alexander Volkanovsky, and there was a lot on the line. For Makachev, it was his first ever title defense, as the UFC lightweight belt was on the line. Makachev has had an insane career in the UFC so far, and to say that his rise has been impressive would be a huge understatement. He's basically dominated every opponent, and he only has one loss in his whole MMA career. Many of us were sad to see Khabib go, but Islam has definitely filled the void. He's one of the best wrestlers in MMA. Islam moves like a python when he's on the ground and has six submission wins. His last submission win was against the king of submissions, Charles Oliveira. Before he faced Islam, Oliveira hadn't lost a fight in five years, and he'd forgotten what it was like to lose. But Makachev did a great job of reminding him when he defeated Oliveira in the second round. It's worth noting that Oliveira is a brilliant Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter, but that wasn't enough for Makachev's Dagestani wrestling. According to Islam, everybody in Dagestan can wrestle, even children in Uber drivers. It's in their blood. And he might have a point. Dagestan is a tiny republic in southern Russia. But it feels like half the republic has already competed in the UFC at some point. Of course, none of this was enough to scare Volkanovsky, whose record may be even more impressive. Before his fight against Islam, Alexander the Great had only lost one fight in his entire MMA career and that was more than 10 years ago. Volkanovsky is one of the greatest featherweights ever, and he's defeated practically everybody in that division. He finally won the featherweight belt in 2019, but that wasn't enough for Volkanovsky, and he wanted a shot at 155 pounds in the lightweight division. But could he pull it off? Well, we know Islam's greatest strength is his wrestling, but what's Volkanovsky's greatest strength? We could definitely say it's his powerful and dynamic striking, but for me, what really sets Volk apart is his insane physical shape. The guy's very fit. He's been through quite a few five-round fights in his career and always looks fresh at the end of the fight. Of course, people were skeptical about him changing weight classes to face Makachev, but people forget. 155 pounds is actually light for Volkanovsky. Back when he played rugby, Volk was a mind-blowing 213 pounds. I mean, how the hell did that even work? He's 5'6", for God's sake. Volk's MMA career even started with him fighting as welterweight. So despite his height, facing up to big opponents is second nature for him. Before his fight against Makachev, Volkanovsky said, I'm twice as strong as I was, you know what I mean? My defense is just on point. I'm like an absolute brick wall. When people are trying to run into me and then you instantly feel it. As soon as they grab a hold of me or we grab each other, they could already significantly see the strength in all that. A brick wall. I've got to say, he had a point. Alexander looked very strong that night, and Islam may be taller, but Alexander actually had a reach advantage. Man, Volk was built for punching the lights out of opponents, and we all saw what happened on the night of the fight. At UFC 284, Makachev and Volkanovsky gave us a master class in MMA with both of them excelling in their suspected weaknesses. Islam's striking was picture perfect, and Volkanovsky's defensive wrestling definitely came a long way. It was the first time Makachev had ever gone the five rounds, and although his performance was great, it looked like the Australian nearly stole the show at the end of the fifth round. As we know, in the end, Makachev's arms was raised, and the lightweight belt remains his. But many aren't too convinced by this decision, 
including some big names in the UFC, like Nate Diaz. Diaz took to Twitter and wrote, Yeah, right, Islam got his ass whooped. Volkanovski was disappointed in the result and went on the MMA Hour to say, I'm not a sore loser or anything like that. That's why I try to be as respectful as I can, even though I thought I won. But yeah, I'm pretty confident and comfortable to say that I thought I won the second, third, and obviously the fifth round. It seems like much of the controversy surrounds the second round, and the other rounds were far more definitive. In any case, one thing is obvious. The fight was very close, and even Makachev agrees with that. So, is there a rematch on the way? Well, probably. But let's not forget something important. Volkanovski is the UFC featherweight champion, and that belt also needs to be defended. The featherweight division is boiling hot, and Yair Rodriguez recently became the interim champion after an impressive victory over Josh Emmett at UFC 284. Now the Mexican wants a shot at the real title, and that means facing Volkanovski. Very well. And Max fights best when he can switch. This is the more urgent fight, and the decision comes down to one man, Dana White. White says, To me, the fight that makes sense is you make Yair versus Volkanovski, Islam versus somebody whenever that happens, and then you do the rematch. Sounds reasonable. Both of them defend their titles, and if they're still on top, then they'll go at it again. They both clearly want the fight, so what could get in the middle? Well, maybe Islam Makachev's mother. Dagestani fighters may seem indestructible but nobody can escape their parents. In an interview recorded shortly before the fight against Volkanovski, Islam said, My mother said wrap it up. Khabib listened to his mother. Why don't you listen to yours? I told her Khabib defended his title, and I need to do the same. And since then, Islam has already defended his title once. And according to Dana White, he'll do it again soon. So could we see an early retirement from Islam? Sadly, it's definitely not out of the question. Islam's path has very much followed the path of Khabib, his mentor. The pair grew up together in a very specific culture, and they both trained under the orders of the same man, Khabib's father, Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov. Abdulmanap famously treated Islam like family until his death in 2020. When his father died, Khabib fought once more and retired to spend more time with his family. Thank you, guys. Thank you, coach. I love you so much. My teammates, Ali Abdulaziz Rizwan. Oh, alhamdulillah. Today is my last fight here in the UFC. So Islam's mother seems to be correct. Islam may follow the same path, but so far, he's still going strong. And hopefully, we'll see him put on a few more title defenses. It's also worth pointing out that his father disagrees, and he loves watching his son's fights. So who knows? We may still have Makachev around for a long time, 